And Eric Dungey joining us, uh, getting ready for Florida State this week. Uh, Eric, you took that big lick that last week, but bounced right back up. Uh, what, what was that moment like for you? Oh, I mean, just, you know, took a pretty big hit, but uh, I'm just glad to be okay. And uh, I'm just back and with my teammates. So uh, we're preparing for Florida State, and we're looking forward to it. We've talked with you here the last, uh, I think, a month or so about the idea of, hey, trying to avoid those hits yeah. going forward. What's the learning process like? Because in high school, you don't run into those situations because yeah. you were bigger than the people hitting you, and it's different here at the college level. Yeah, I mean, um, just throwing the ball away and uh, getting out of bounds and getting down when I can. Um, I thought I did a better job of it. Uh, just one play, you know, kind of got caught up on my ankles and falling forward, so can't really avoid that. But um, I've definitely got to be smarter and not put myself in that situation in the first place. We know one of the other things you yourself and the offense as a whole was working on was just getting out of the gates fast. Mm -hmm. And I think two plays, 75 yards and a touchdown answered that. Uh, what went into getting started faster this past week than maybe earlier? Well, I mean, the line did a great job on that play. I'm um, opening it up and Jordan, I mean, he's a great running back. So he found a hole and he was running. So and then Irv, I mean, just throw a little flat out to him and he made a great move and scored. So uh, great play calling, great execution on our part. You almost kept pace with Jordan on that run down the field. <laughs> Were you trying to throw a block there 40, 50 yards down the field? Uh, no, I was just kind of hanging back, just to make sure everything, uh, if in a in case of fumble, I was there to pick it up. But When you look at the way the game went in the second half, a couple of picks for you. Were they just two individual plays, or, or does anything stand out of uh, what needed to be done different on those plays? I mean, one of the picks, they were in the perfect coverage for what we were running. Um, I should have seen it and uh, checked out of it. Mm -hmm. And the other one, I was just bad throw. Um, so that's physical error. I got to get better at that. So I mean, um, been working on really hitting points this week and mm -hmm. um, making smarter decisions. How much were you just chomping at the bit during that last nine minutes, hoping to get back out there for another crack? Oh, it's frustrating. You know, sitting on the bench, you can't do anything about it. Uh, Pittsburgh did a great job of, um, you know, running the clock down. And, um, you know, our defense was right there with them. That's a long, long time to be on the field. Um, but uh, I was just wishing that we could get in there. <clears throat> the one guy that was making huge plays for you all game long was Steve Ishmael. How much confidence do you have in him? Because some of those plays are, hey, you're just throwing the ball up and you think your guy's better than their guy. Yeah, I mean, Steve's a great, uh, great receiver. And uh, him and I have a lot of chemistry. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, if I see him and I, I can give him a shot, then uh, I know he'll, he'll go up and uh, compete for the ball. I know for with Florida State, Jalen Ramsey is a, a stud cornerback for them. I imagine that'll be a matchup yeah. a, a lot of the day. What do you think that battle could be like this weekend? I mean, yeah, uh, they got a lot of athletes on that team, a lot. Um, uh, so it's going to be it's going to be a challenge, but um, we're looking forward to it. Second time for you, kid from Oregon, be playing in Florida this week. How different is that for you? I mean, you're about as far away from home in these games as you could possibly be. Yeah, I mean, I try not to think about it as much. Um, I just try to, you know, go and we're on a field. So that's what I try to think about and um, just try to focus on the game plan and um, execution. That said, will you take in the environment at all while, while you're down there at, at this stadium where a lot of great games have been played? Yeah, I mean, it's definitely cool to, uh, you know, travel and see these um, incredible stadiums and, you know, a new uh, climate. So uh, it's, it's nice. When you've looked at Florida State so far this week on film, what stands out? We know every year they're going to have great athletes, mm -hmm. but, but what stands out about this year's version? Well, first off, you know, great athletes and um, their, their discipline. So um, discipline, great athletes. It's, uh, it's, it's definitely going to be tough, but... Um, like I said, we're looking forward to the challenge. Last thing, Eric, it's been a couple of tough losses, last possession losses here the last couple of weeks. Looking at it, it doesn't look like it's worn on you guys at all, but but has it, or, and, and how do you bounce back this week? I mean, obviously we don't want to lose. Um, you know, it's six inches here, six inches there. Mm -hmm. um, so we just got to really, you know, um, go hard all game and, you know, eliminate those uh, six-inch plays and those mistakes and hopefully, you know, come out with a win. All right, Eric, good luck this week. Thank you.